Chemistry lecture number 45, creating balanced equations from sentences. To create balanced equations from sentences, you need to be knowledgeable and proficient in several topics that have already been covered. You need to have the names and formulas of common polyatomic ions memorized from lecture 34. You need to be able to write the formula of an ionic compound from its name. That's lecture number 35. And you need to be able to write the formula of a covalent compound from its name, which is lecture uh, number 38. I encourage you to review these lectures before you proceed with lecture 45. So you're not going to understand the concept of these lectures until you uh, have the other concepts thoroughly uh, in your head. All right, now, topic of this lecture. You'll need to be able to convert a sentence into a balanced equation. So to illustrate, um, we'll convert the following sentence. Solid iron and chlorine gas react to form iron 3 chloride. Now, how do you change the words into chemical formulas? Here are some guidelines to help you write balanced equations from sentences. Bromine, iodine, nitrogen, chlorine, hydrogen, oxygen, and fluorine. And these elements exist as diatomic molecules. Uh, thus, that means that bromine exists as Br2, iodine exists as I2, and so on. So if you see the word bromine, you would write Br2. Now, how are you going to memorize this list of elements that exist in the diatomic state? Well, you might notice that they spell out a word, Brinkelhoff. So if you can remember the word Brinkelhoff, you'll have memorized the elements that exist diatomically in nature. For solid metal elements such as iron, sodium, chromium, and gold, you just write the symbol. Thus, uh, if you see the word iron, it's written as Fe. If you see the word gold, it's written as Au, and so on. Words describing non-ionic compounds or molecules uh, have the number of each atom written prefixes. Thus, carbon dioxide is CO2. Uh, review lecture number 38 for more details. So you have to be able to write uh, formulas for molecules from the uh, words for the molecules. Some formulas of common, mo <coughs> common molecules uh, need to be memorized, such as benzene, C6H6, hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. Review lecture number 38 for more details on those uh, common molecules that you need to have memorized. Um, you need to be able to write the uh, formulas for ionic compounds from the information given in lectures 34 and 35. All right, so a lot of stuff you need to know before you can dive in and solve the questions we're going to do. All right, so here's the uh, sentence uh, we asked you to uh, try to convert. Um, solid iron and chlorine gas form iron 3 chloride. All right, so metals, and iron is a metal, you just write the symbol, Fe. So that's solid iron and chlorine gas. Chlorine is part of Brinkelhoff. All right. So, see? Chlorine, part of Brinkelhoff. So that means that when we write the formula for chlorine, we're just going to write Cl2. <clears throat> Form iron 3 chloride. Hmm. So, from writing formulas for ionic compounds. Iron 3 means that it's Fe with a plus 3 charge. Chloride or chlorine. Chlorine is in group 7 on the periodic chart, so it has a negative 1 charge. If you crisscross the numbers, you're going to end up with FeCl3. So that's how you write the formula for iron 3 uh, chloride. Okay, and then let's uh, balance it. Um, 2 and 3, let's see, so if I put a 2 there and a 3 there, that'll give me 6 chlorines on each side, 3 times 2 and 2 times 3. I've got 2 irons or 2 Fe's right here, so I'll put a 2 there, and then that balances uh, my equation. All right, so let's do some for practice. So we're going to write the balanced equation for a whole bunch of reactions. So here's the first one. Sulfuric acid decomposes to form water and sulfur trioxide. So sulfuric acid So that's uh, one of the molecules uh, that you need to have memorized. It's a common substance, so uh, when you see the word sulfuric acid, you should just have memorized that sulfuric acid is H2SO4. Decomposes to form water and sulfur trioxide, so it turns into something. 
to form water. Well, water is H2O. I hope you know that by now. Sulfur trioxide. So the prefix indicates that this is a molecule. So the formula for it, when you just read it, sulfur is S, oxide is oxygen, tri means three. All right, and there we go. So that's how you write the uh, formulas for the compounds. Is this balanced? I think this is already balanced. Two hydrogens, two hydrogens, one sulfur, one sulfur, four oxygens, and then one plus three equals four oxygens there. So it's balanced, all right? Well, that wasn't too hard. Calcium reacts with water to produce calcium hydroxide and hydrogen gas. All right, so let's see. We have calcium. So calcium is a metal. Remember, the metals on the uh, periodic chart, on here they're written in pink, but uh, you've got this jagged line, and all the metals are to the left of the uh, jagged line. Nonmetals are in blue right here. So hydrogen and uh, the stuff in blue is a nonmetal, and then the yellow stuff is the metalloids. And sometimes they count as uh, nonmetals. Anyway, calcium is right here in the pink, so that means it's a metal. Calcium reacts with water to produce calcium hydroxide. and hydrogen gas. Okay, so calcium, since it's a metal, it's just Ca. Water is H2O. Calcium hydroxide, well, let's see. Calcium is in group two on the periodic chart. It's plus two. Hydroxide is a polyatomic ion that uh, you need to have memorized. You should have memorized that hydroxide is OH with a negative one charge. And then if you crisscross the numbers, you're going to end up with CaOH2. All right, that's crisscrossing the numbers. All right, and then hydrogen. Hydrogen is part of Brinkelhoff. Let me find it for you. Can't find it. There it is. See, hydrogen is part of Brinkelhoff, so formula for hydrogen is going to be H2. It's diatomic. All right, so now that we've got the uh, formulas down, we can start balancing this. Uh, let's see, how would we do this? <clears throat> I would start out by, uh, let's see, one calcium, one calcium, two hydrogens here, and then two plus two gives me four hydrogens here. So if I put a two right there, that'll balance my hydrogens. Four hydrogens, and then two plus two hydrogens. All right, and then, so my calciums are balanced, one calcium, one calcium, my hydrogens are okay, four hydrogens, and then two plus two is four hydrogens. Two oxygens, and then two oxygens right here, and I think that's it. Okay, balanced equation. Let's try another one. Chromium reacts with hydrochloric acid to make chromium 3 chloride and hydrogen. Okay, so chromium, the uh, symbol is uh, Cr. The symbol is Cr. Reacts with hydrochloric acid Hydrochloric acid is uh, another molecule whose formula you should just have memorized. Hydrochloric acid is HCl to make chromium 3 chloride. And hydrogen. Okay, so chromium 3 chloride, chromium is in, well, it's a transition element, but they tell us the oxidation state, 3 right here. So chromium is going to be plus 3 chloride, group 7. So if you crisscross the numbers, chromium chloride is going to be CrCl3. And then 
hydrogen is part of Brinkelhoff, so it's going to be H2. So, move everything down. Here's part of the equation. Now we just have to balance this. Hmm, let's see here. How do we do this? I guess one way you could do this is if I put a 3 right here, that would balance my... Uh, Let's see, well, let's not try that. Um, <laughs> chlorine, how do we do this, how do we do this? All right, chlorine, I've got three right here, and then I'll put a three right here. So that'll balance my chlorines. Three chlorines, three chlorines. And then I have three hydrogens right here, and two hydrogens there. My chromiums look okay. I'm gonna use the trick of using a fraction, if I put three halves like that, that will give me three hydrogens right here because two times three halves will give me three. And then if we don't like the uh, fractions, we can just multiply everything by two. Um, and let's see, I think that will give us, um, I might mess this up, let's see, two, oops, Yes, we'll play 2Cr plus 6HCl gives 2CrCl3 plus 3H2. All right, does that balance us? Two chromiums, two chromiums, six hydrogens, and then three times two gives me six hydrogens, six chlorines, Two times three gives me six chlorines. Yep, that's it. Okay. Let's try another one. Aluminum carbonate decomposes to form uh, aluminum oxide and carbon dioxide. So, aluminum carbonate decomposes to form aluminum oxide and carbon dioxide. Okay, aluminum carbonate. Well, aluminum carbonate, aluminum is Al and it's in group three, so it has a plus three charge. Uh, carbonate, you should memorize that carbonate has the formula of CO3 with a negative 2 charge. If you crisscross the numbers, you're going to end up with Al2 CO3 3. All right. Aluminum oxide, aluminum, group 3 elements, so it has a plus 3. Oxide or oxygen, group 6 elements, so it has a negative 2 charge. Crisscross the numbers, you'll end up with Al2O3. Carbon dioxide, C, and then dioxide means you have oxygen, di means two. All right. Now, if we want to balance this, uh, how can we balance this? I've got two aluminums, two aluminums. I've got three carbons right here. So if I put a three here, That'll balance my carbon, so my aluminums are okay. Two aluminums, two aluminums, three carbons, three carbons. Three times three is nine oxygens. And then how many oxygens do I have here? Three plus six. Three times two gives me six oxygens here, and six oxygens plus three oxygens gives me nine. So it's balanced. All right. So it takes a little bit of practice to uh, write balanced equations from sentences. Uh, you have to use knowledge that you previously learned in other chemistry lectures. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been chemistry lecture number 45, creating balanced equations from sentences.